In this video, I wanted to talk about why you might want to build a WordPress membership site as opposed to using a platform such as like Udemy or Skillshare, some of these other platforms that are more of marketplaces. Uh, in a lot of cases, some people, you know, depending on where you're at um, with whatever it is you're teaching, you may already have built an audience, maybe you have an email list, and you really just don't want to have your course out in a place like Udemy where they're going to be um, presenting coupon codes, potentially like lowering the cost of your of your course. Maybe it's something where you already have a Udemy course and you'd also like to offer that uh, to people through a website like such as a blog. Um, WordPress is basically a really great way that you're going to be able to create a membership site and of course there's all kinds of different ways you can do this. There's lots of different plugins. Um, like I said, there are other courses that I've found that cover these, but this course is really going to focus on the Zippy Courses plugin. Uh, it's definitely one of the easiest I've used to get set up and started with. Um, there are some really positive things about it and there are some negative things as well so I'm gonna be kind of kind of be covering all of that and talking about um, you know one of the bigger reasons you could go with a platform like Zippy courses and why it would be good for your business as opposed to going with um, you know some of these standard sites um, I guess I'll cover that in one of the next videos but Basically, one of the best reasons you want to create a membership site would be more of you want to be able to have more control over everything you're doing. You know, if you're really relying on another system, uh, creating your own site and having a membership site there is really going to be the best way to go about it. So that's something you'll be able to learn going through this. In this video, I just wanted to show you the Zippy Courses sales page. Uh, if you go to zippycourses.com, you can go check this out for yourself. I uh, just kind of quickly wanted to elaborate a little bit more on what the plugin actually is and what it does. So essentially what you're going to get is a plugin that you're going to be able to add into any WordPress site. Um, you could really use any theme you want, but they do have a, a theme that's included with Zippy courses that will make kind of like the formatting and the display of everything a little bit better. Uh, it's really not so much intended that you have like an existing blog and that you integrate it into your existing website, but that you had a course and you wanted to have this set up in its own property with its own domain. Uh, you can also set set up Zippy courses so that it's more of um, something where you have like multiple, um, I guess, courses inside of one place. So like let's say you wanted to teach um, you know how to paint and you had a bunch of different courses on painting, you could basically make one website all about that and then have all the separate courses inside of that using Zippy courses. So if you head over to the sales page, there's a three minute video, they show you how quickly it is to make um, modules and lessons with it. I'll be going over some of that a little more in depth as well throughout the course. Um, but you know, here you can see Derek, he talks about why they built Zippy courses. Um, you know, there were a lot of uh, other softwares out there that were pretty complex. They integrate with a lot of the major um, pay, payment providers as well as um, mail systems like MailChimp and Aweber, GetResponse. But um, yeah, I mean, more or less, this plugin is going to allow you to create a membership site very easily. Um, most of the options are very straightforward. So I'm going to be walking you through all of this. But I just, like I said, wanted to quickly show you the uh, sales page here. They kind of show you a little bit of what's going on. You know, you can get analytics for your courses. Uh, you can get a lot, you know, you'll have a, the capability so your students can log in and everything is basically created inside of Zippy courses here. They're talking about all the different courses you can create inside of the platform. And then they've got a couple different themes like I mentioned earlier. And in the next video, I'm actually going to show you here. It only shows one price point, but I'm actually going to show you the pricing page, which uh, has a couple different options and we'll compare those and take a quick look. In this video, I just quickly wanted to show you uh, the price differences here on the Zippy Courses plugin. If you actually look at the sales page, you're only going to see that there's uh, the standard package. So um, some people may be a little confused, but if you head up to this pricing tab way at the top on the right, uh, you can see that there's actually a standard package and a deluxe package. So if you get standard, you're basically going to get uh, one year of support through the Zippy Courses team. You're going to get their standard theme. You can build out unlimited sites and then you've basically got one license for one site. Uh, so you're not going to be able to move this to other domains or anything like that. And you're also going to have with the deluxe package, you pay a hundred bucks more and you're basically going to get a few bonuses that Derek has put together about really uh, promoting your course and also a premium theme as well as a built-in landing page template, which I'll be covering a little bit later in the course. 
beyond that, I mean, here, if you look at this pricing page, you'll see that, um, you know, they kind of just show some of the reasons why it's a great platform. But again, you know, you kind of have the option between the standard or the deluxe. Uh, if you look there, I'll leave a link. You can go check out this pricing page and this, you know, you basically take the choice. Uh, the, one of the biggest benefits of um, going with Zippy courses, which I'll cover a little bit more in the next video, is that uh, basically you've got really a one-time payment. You're not going to be paying like transactional fees on some of this stuff. All right. Thanks. In this video, I wanted to talk about the number one biggest benefit of getting set up with Zippy courses. Um, really, and that benefit is pretty much the fact that you're not going to have to pay any transactional fees on any new students coming in. You know, if you look at a platform like Udemy, um, even if you do your own promotions, there are some slight fees that they're taking out. If you look at a platform like Fedora, which is very similar to kind of having your own standalone membership site, you're going to pay um, anywhere from five to eight percent. Uh, maybe even I think 10% it might even go as high as with the free uh, plan you basically pay a transactional fee on any enrollment and then if you actually get into some of the ones where you know the, like let's say we look at Fedora as a platform you may end up paying $30 a month uh, maybe when you're starting out you know you don't have a lot of money to be spending every month on all this stuff and you're really just trying to build up an audience and get people enrolled so I can kind of see you know for someone like me I might not want to go and spend a hundred dollars a month or thirty dollars a month to be able to just have a course platform out there. With Zippy courses, you don't need to worry about that. And that's honestly, in my opinion, the number one biggest benefit to the platform. So you're gonna pay a one-time fee of $200 and you could have 10,000 students come through the door um, mixed across five courses, let's say, and you're never gonna pay any more additional fees beyond what your merchant provider would charge you, you know, like PayPal. Um, so that's really the biggest benefit. I wanted to throw that out there because it is really important. Um, if you're really looking at other platforms, that's going to be one way to kind of decide, uh, you know, good reason why you should maybe go with Zippy courses. In this video, I just quickly wanted to show you a couple other platforms you can take a look at. Uh, I know obviously if you're looking at this course, you know that you're going to be learning about Zippy courses, but I, I didn't want to completely um, just kind of make them like the number one, like be all end all of everything. Um, it's really just a platform I'm familiar with and that's why I'm covering it. You can actually look around places like Udemy and find there are other courses on using plugins such as this wish, Wishlist member, which is also a WordPress plugin that's been out for some time now. They've been around for at least, I want to say, two, three years. And really in terms of pricing, they're pretty much spot on in terms of how they compare. Um, you're basically paying the same, either $200 for the single site or $300 for the multi-site. But, uh, you know, if this is something you're interested in, you could take a look at it. You know, there's really, you know, I would say overall I've used Wishlist Member and it, I want to say it's a little more complicated to set up, but there are some things that you could integrate that uh, Zippy Courses doesn't have, such as uh, ClickBank integration or JVZoo integration, which is great for, you know, promoting products and things like that through those marketplaces. But, you know, I'm going to share a link as well. Uh, I've kind of compared some of these platforms. I didn't include Wishlist Member because I don't have an active site with it in this particular post. But you can do your own due diligence, you know, look around on the internet. Um, there is another Zippy Courses, or I'm sorry, another Udemy course that actually covers uh, Wishlist Member. Uh, I believe it was created by Rob Kuban, and I've checked out his courses. He does a really great job. So that's something you can also take a look at. Uh, in terms of another platform, I mentioned it in the last video. This platform is called Fedora, and this doesn't use WordPress. Basically, they've got their own self-hosted platform where you can go through and create a course. They have a really nice interface. You know, everything is very simple to get going. Uh, the biggest kind of downfall with them is that if you go to the pricing page, they charge you on transactions, which I know I did mention in the last video. Uh, if you get started for free, they, they take a dollar plus 10% of the course cost and then you have to go up to basic professional or high volume plans if you're looking to reduce that cost and then get some of the other features so with like a free plan for example you you're only able to use a subdomain and you actually end up kind of getting stuck uh, with that subdomain so unless you go with the basic plan and you know you consistently want to be paying money every month um, then you're basically going to have to you know 
Um, that's the only way you're going to be able to get um, a full domain. So that's sort of a downfall with Zippy courses. You know, you don't have to worry about any of that. You just pay the one time $200 and then you never worry about any of those transaction fees. So this is just something to keep in mind. Um, you know, I've used Fedora and I actually really like the platform, so I don't want to, you know, completely disregard it. But I just want to give you guys your options, show you kind of some comparison, what it is that you may want to, um, you know, look at. So in this video, I just quickly wanted to show you uh, one of the pages that uh, I've actually set up on my Zippy Courses site. And this is basically going to be the case study site I'm going to be showing you as we go through the course, uh, kind of showing you the things I've set up and how things display with Zippy Courses. Now, this example is actually a page that was not created with the Zippy Courses plugin. It was actually made with something called the Thrive Content Builder. Uh, I actually have another course on Udemy on how to build um, easy drag and drop WordPress uh, landing pages. You can check that course out if you're interested in building a page like this. Um, that's something I can link to you as well if you're interested in looking at that. But basically what I did was I set up a basic landing page for this course. Uh, there's still some work to be done as you can see there's some kind of like mass spacing here in the landing page. But basically I've got a sign up button which then redirects um, to a Zippy Courses page to then actually go ahead and buy so this is now inside of Zippy Courses and people can go ahead and buy uh, this monthly membership. So in the next video, I'm going to kind of be covering um, more on getting started with this plugin and what you can kind of expect. Something else I quickly want to touch upon, which I know I mentioned in the earlier videos, but um, when you're getting started with your site, something to really think about is how you want to be branding it. Um, now, as I mentioned with Zippy Courses, you can actually go ahead and you could create a domain where you're going to have your courses hosted, but uh, in a lot of cases, you're probably going to want to use their theme. So in this case, with this sales page, we basically called this site um, and this course, it's called the Blog Artist Bootcamp. Now, we really wanted to intend this for just one course. If you are looking to create something, you know, maybe you wanted to make um, you know, a whole series of courses about blogging, what you could do is create something that's going to be a little bit more generic and then you could have different courses inside of that and Zippy Courses will allow you to create a page where people can click in and go to each of the different courses and learn more about them. So this is just something to keep in mind. Uh, I really wanted to throw out there because um, you know, really, if you start out and you start building this course and you create your entire domain based around this, uh, the first thing is that when you build out using the basic plugin, you're not going to be able to do more than one site. Um, if you have the premium plugin, obviously you can, but if you have the basic plugin, you're not going to be able to, you know, brand this with like five different domains for five different courses. Uh, you'd really want to find one domain that you could have all your courses and make it something more generic. So this is just something I wanted you guys to keep in mind. Um, again, with this sales page, we basically did something where it's very targeted towards one course and that's all we were looking to do. Okay, so I'm going to assume at this point you've already taken a look at the official documentation and with that it actually included a video on how to actually install the plugin, which is very straightforward if you're familiar with WordPress at all. All you really have to do is take the zip file and uh, go into plugins and then upload it. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, I'm not sure what's going on with this site, but it's uh, my site is actually glitching out a little bit in the menus. So if you see anything a little off, uh, that's basically why that's happening. But so far, so good. I can still show you everything that I need to show you. Um, once you've gotten Zippy Courses installed, you're basically going to see a menu here where you can look at all the different options. Um, I've already created my course, obviously, here, the Blog Artist Boot Camp. And from here I can view the course which is actually going to show it from like a student perspective I can edit the course which is adding modules and lessons and then I've got analytics to see data and things like that what's going on um, over here on the right you actually have kind of like a little checklist of all the different things so we haven't launched this course yet so I've done everything except make the first sale uh, I'm still actually in testing phases and setting up my landing page and things like that uh, something you know really to keep in mind is as you go through setting everything up you'll see all these uh, options get checked off like initially entering your license key you know setting up payments and um, yeah, actually creating your first course building out the lessons and then um, pricing for your course so I'm just really gonna show you lessons if I head over here I've already opened up the edit portion of 
Zippy courses. Basically, we've got a getting started area. We can manage units and lessons, and then we can set up selling the course. So I'm just gonna give you a quick glance first at uh, managing units and lessons, um, since this is really what this video is gonna focus on for the moment. So a lesson would kind of be like a top hierarchy of how things are structured, and then a unit is, oh, I'm sorry, the unit is actually the top hierarchy, and the lesson is basically under that. So you can see here I've created um, one unit called uh, Exclusive Interviews with Victor Pride, and then we've got two lessons which cover, you know, which are basically those two interviews. And then as we move on, you know, here I've got, um, you know, a unit on building your blog with video tutorials, and I've got a series of all these lessons. Now I've got a few options over here on the right. Um, you know, obviously if you want to add these yourself, you can just click on new lesson, new unit, and it will put them at the very bottom, I believe, and you can just sort of drag them where they need to go. So this is a very simple um, drag and drop system. In terms of these options, you've got, uh, you can view the lesson, see what it actually looks like. I can edit this lesson. I can set up scheduling. So what I could do is actually have like when a member, sh when a member signs up, um, you can actually schedule the post to go out at a certain time, like maybe it'll only be available after a certain date. I can do a quiz, so if I want to qu quiz people and talk about um, you know, what they learn, maybe do a little quiz, that's sort of optional, I decided not to do that. And then lesson access, that's something really cool. If you look over here on the right, you can actually create uh, tiers. So let's say I create a membership site where I'm charging $100. I could actually go in and then give them access to like certain things, you know, a basic membership level. I could then create like, um, you know, a premium membership tier, and that would allow me to basically, you know, lock access. Maybe these interviews are like a bonus that only the advanced guys get that paid, you know, $150. Um, so I could go in here and actually set le lesson access here. You can see permissions are set to basic right now, but if I had another tier, I could set that to advanced. So that's something really good to keep in mind. Uh, in the following videos, I'm going to show you some more stuff on using the plugin. All right, so I quickly just wanted to show you what it's like to actually walk through some of the units and lessons that I've already created. Um, this is obviously in the course that I'm showing you going through this uh, tutorial. But if I go and click in, you know, I've got a couple um, of sort of the top level categories here that I've created in this. You can see there's two lessons under each of these units. Um, let's say I'm going to go into the building your blog video tutorials. If I click on that, I've then got all the different lessons here. If I click on one lesson, I've now got basically a description that I've added to each of these, um, each of these lessons basically. And as I go and complete them, I can click complete this lesson. That's going to mark it that it's all done. And then I can easily just click and go to the next um, next lesson and you can see the new resources that have been added for each of these. So it's very, very easy to kind of navigate through this. So I really wanted to show you guys this to give you an example of what it looks like for a student. Um, they could also leave a reply, you know, whatever it is that they want if they had a question about something. But overall, I mean, um, this is using the premium template. so. Um, wanted to give you guys an idea of what that looked like as well. I didn't go crazy with the graphic art artwork up here, but uh, very, very simple, not too much to the site, and just very easy to go through. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the landing page template that actually comes with the premium version of Zippy Courses. Um, it is very, very, very basic. Um, it actually is something I don't 100% recommend because um, it just really doesn't offer a whole ton um, really with the, you know creating a landing page. If you use something like Thrive Content Builder, you're going to have a lot more options. But depending on how you're using it, um, you know if you just want something simple to basically get people to opt in, maybe put in their name and email address, it could very well work for you. So I wanted to give you an example of how that's set up. This was something that actually took me a little bit of time to figure out. So here I've got a sample page. And in order to select the template is you're going to have to go over on the right side at page attributes and you want to select instead of default you want landing page. From there um, once you do that you're going to get these landing page details down at the bottom here. Um, you could override some layout settings over on the right uh, if you wanted 
But basically what I did was um, you select the product. So I've got a couple different price points. You know, here's my course. And then right now I've got a free one for testing. And then this is the actual paid um, enrollment. So from there, you can then configure visitors. So the button that will prompt, um, you know, see what people are visible when they're logged in. Um, and then a, basically a button that's uh, for the registration. And then students um, can also see something different if they're already a student, you know, logged into the site. So I basically pulled up a non-logged in user on my other browser here I wanted to show you. Um, this is obviously just gibberish that came with the sample page. And then here, um, this is the text that was in the first field and then the buy now text on the second field. So you can set up a, you know, autoresponder with this and when someone fills this out, th that'll basically create them an account. Um, you could use this to kind of remarket to people and it's using the, right now I've got the premium theme so I've uploaded this logo here and I've got nothing in the footer so it's very, very simple, um, very straightforward. Now obviously if you go back and look at my my original landing page, this is what I've created with Thrive Content Builder. I've got something much more in depth that I could put together. Um, you know, you don't have any crazy like drag and drop builders, anything like that with the basic landing page template. So just something to keep in mind, um, you could use that if you're really just looking for some basic opt-ins, but um, really not that great for a sales page in my opinion. So in this video, I just quickly wanted to cover the email marketing settings that you can set up within Zippy courses. Uh, once you get in, you're going to see under the general settings area, you're going to have all these tabs up at the top. So what I wanted to cover in this video is system emails and your email list. So basically, if you haven't gotten familiar with any of these, MailChimp would probably be a really good bet because it's free to set up. Um, if you look back at the official documentation, you're going to be able to find information on how to set these up. Uh, each of them are going to be different depending on how they connect. Um, MailChimp, I know, has many, many ways that you can connect, but in this example, they're using an API key, and you can choose whether or not it's enabled. And the opt-in type would mean whether or not someone's just opting in once or you know, then getting subscribed to your list or opting in and then hitting a confirmation email. So you can actually choose to do either or with uh, MailChimp here. And then really you've got options for any of these. Uh, in a lot of cases, you know, you can authorize Aweber here with this one. So that's also API based. And then you've got active campaign, get response, eye contact, Infusionsoft, Mad Mimi, Entreport, constant contact and campaign monitor. And any of these will connect in. So what's gonna happen is when someone signs up for your course, you know, you get a new student, you're gonna be able to add them to an email list. So I highly suggest setting up a segmented email list specifically for your students. You know, don't put them on the same one as like what you're using for a blog or something. But um, in terms of options, I'd say MailChimp is a good start because it is free. The next thing I wanted to show you was system emails. And this is something that's gonna be important. What you may wanna do is set up a email address that would come, you know, kind of be like a generic one. So in my case, I've got the blogartistbootcamp.com. I may want to make something like um, sales at blogartistbootcamp.com. Uh, you could use a service like Gmail to set up uh, domain-based emails, or you could even use Zoho Mail uh, for setting up, um, you know, a domain-based email for free. Those are some a couple options if you want to do it that way. Uh, otherwise, you know, if you're fine with it, you could just use a Gmail address. Um, this is important because you want to make sure you fill it out. Uh, if you don't, you're not going to get notified. And then you've got other options here like registration. So this is what students see. You know, you've got a template here. Um, I customized all of these just a little bit, but you know, generally, you know, welcome to our boot camp. Here's the details. So when someone signs up, you can kind of change this around and you can choose whether or not to send them these emails. Obviously, I think you'd want to. And then you've got other options for if someone forgot a password, you know, the receipt for when they purchase, um, registration, and new students. This is what you're going to see when a new student joins. So, you know, you get something like, hey, congratulations. Um, and you could show here, send an email to the site admin when a student joins. So I just wanted to show you guys this. And they've also got some short codes you can use here if you take a look. Um, these short codes you can use within all these different templates for these different forms. So maybe if you want to tweak things, uh, this would be a good way to do that. So in this video, I wanted to show you uh, basically a getting started page. And this is actually pretty important. Um, when I was first creating my course, I didn't really quite understand how this sort of was all put together. 
and I had to kind of tinker with it to get it to really show up the way I wanted it to. So basically once you've uh, gone in to edit your course, you'll see there's a get started step one here. So obviously I know I already kind of co you know covered um, units and lessons, so it really doesn't matter the order that you do these things. Um, you could really start out with your get started page first. Um, they kind of put that as like their step one. Uh, as you can see here, it says set the content that will display in the course homepage to find an excerpt that will be used in previews and add a feature image as the cover of your course. So what I've done is instead of um, you know having like a big cover image, I actually have a welcome video. So I've got this um, introduction here, welcome to the boot camp, and then we kind of talk about what to expect, um, how to watch content, um, you know, mention that they should mark complete each lesson. You know, I mentioned here like you know we're gonna have a private Facebook group so people can go and click on that. So over here on the right under featured media, um, I actually added in a Wistia code here. Uh, we're going to talk about video platforms here coming up, but I basically put in a 1280 by 720 video and embedded that. And beyond that, there's not much. You can add some SEO settings. Um, there's a little short description there. You know, we put in something like the blogging boot camp for winners. Now I'm going to go over to the page. So here's my Wistia embedded video. It looks really nice up at the top. Uh, I've got an image that's very, very simple. I didn't go crazy with any graphics or anything up there. Um, you can see here for a student they're gonna see how much of the course they've completed obviously I'm not going through it I'm just building it so it says 0% and then here's my text uh, very easy to see and then at the bottom you can see all the lessons which you can then drop down at the very bottom here uh, very very easy to go through so this is a welcome page and I just wanted to show you guys this Okay, so in this video, I really just wanted to kind of talk about the top three uh, video platforms that I'd say would be your options if you're going to be building out a Zippy Courses uh, membership site. Now, the first being YouTube. It's free. Um, obviously, a lot of people are very familiar with YouTube. One of the downsides with YouTube, though, is even if you make your videos private, it's very, very easy to pe for people to actually take the content. Um, you can use like video converting tools and things like that. Some of them are free. It makes it very, very easy for someone to actually take the video content and then that might cause some piracy issues. You know, if um, there's a lot of people out there that love to like seal courses and share them all over the internet. And this is something I'd say would be pretty common if you're gonna use YouTube as a platform. So this is just something to keep in mind. Um, I know with YouTube, if you look into it, I'm not gonna dive into it, but you can uh, get some special stuff so you can like remove some of the um, like bar on the bottom and like the YouTube logo and things like that when people are watching the videos so they really won't know that it's playing on YouTube um, and it just look a little more professional I feel like um, that's just kinda my take on it now if you're willing to pay you can get something called Wistia um, this is a very very good platform as you can see they've got this pretty uh, kinda really cool uh, landing page here but I'm gonna go over to their pricing and they do have a free plan but literally you'll cap this out really fast if um, you know if you have a lot of people watching your videos because it's bandwidth driven and then you've got a $25 a month basic plan a pro and an enterprise uh, we're actually using with the blog artist bootcamp we're using the basic plan which gives us an unbranded player and up to a hundred videos uh, I think we're, we're probably eventually going to be using more than 25 so um, a combination of free and basic um, you know just looking at that uh, with the bandwidth limits, I believe that they kind of put on you with free. Uh, basic is probably a better way to go and just gives you more uh, capability to add more videos over time. So another platform to look at is Vimeo. And this is another one that, you know, you can set up some privacy settings. You can pass or protect your videos, things like that. And I haven't done a lot with Vimeo. I actually don't know what the cost is. Let me see if I can find. I see here they've got like a plus and a pro. Let's see I think if we let, 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 I'll go to the plus down here so it looks like they've got an annual plan which isn't bad you know monthly for ten dollars a month or you could do the whole year for 60 bucks and then they kind of talk about all the different things like whether or not you're seeing banners or um, how much storage space you have so these are things to all look at obviously they have the pro plan I think if you're looking for something a little more advanced and that's two hundred dollars for the year um, as they show in the example here, you can see the private video. So just keep these in mind. Um, I really like Wistia. I've been using it for a while, so uh, that's a really great platform. And I've seen other people use Vimeo and membership sites, and that works pretty well for like password protection and things like that. 
uh, going to be a little harder, I think, for people to kind of rip those videos as well off the site. So something I found that when I actually created a lesson inside of video, uh, Zippy Courses, if you simply just add um, content without actually adding a video and you're kind of moving around, you know, students going through the lectures, uh, I found that it just sort of looks a little off to send them to a particular lecture without a video. So what I actually did was I had one of my lectures that was literally just an MP3 and I wanted to have that be basically a lecture, you know, I wanted to share an audio file. And obviously you can upload these inside of Zippy courses, but just the way it was displaying, I wasn't a huge fan of it. So what I did was I, I basically set up a video version of the MP3. Uh, you can use this site here called Tunes to Tube. It's very, very easy. You connect it to your YouTube account. And then what I did was I went into Google Drive and I actually made a short and simple a uh, little document um, that basically said what my, the title of my um, my mp3 was about what the actual audio was about it was an interview and with this tool you can go in and actually upload a background image which is what I you know used with Google Drive and then you add your mp3 file and then you give it your YouTube description uh, everything that you need and then you're able to basically create that let me see if I can actually show you that lesson so here I'm inside the lesson where I did this. Um, you can see I've embedded the video over here. I'm gonna view the lesson. So instead of um, you know clicking into this and basically sort of having like you know no video show up here, I really wanted this to be consistent with this particular lecture. If I go to interview one, you can see you know it's got a video here, and then you can download it with that audio button. Uh, this was one I recorded with Google Hangouts. Whereas this one, I originally recorded it with a Skype recorder, so I only got an MP3 version. So what I did was I put this in, uh, I'm going to kill the volume, but basically you can see I just keep this consistent image during the interview. Um, you know, I just said building your blog with Victor Pride, and I just kept that as the image for the entire interview. And then if a student wants, they can click on this audio, and that will download an, the MP3 version. So, like I said, use Tunes to Tube to do that, and that's something that will keep your... Uh, lectures looking a little more consistent in terms of uh, you know the, the video in this video I just quickly wanted to show you how you can add additional downloadable files to your uh, lectures to your lessons basically inside of the zippy courses plugin um, once you're actually editing a particular module you know, you're inside of here I've got this interview which I used in the last video example the very bottom on this page I can click under downloads if I hit new file uh, I'm gonna get an additional drop down here and I can choose the file type I can choose from video audio PDF images slides a transcript or something else now in this case um, when you go to add these you're basically gonna get like you know if you use any of the generic ones like PDF it will add a little icon underneath the video lesson so as you can see I'm gonna go back I know I just showed this in the last video but if you look under here I've actually got an audio button now and if I click on this um, it's actually gonna start downloading uh, I'm gonna cancel it but basically if I were to add a PDF as well to this you'd see a PDF icon um, anything else let me see if I can actually find an example I'll show you what the PDF one looks like if I go to another lesson here this one I believe has it so here's a PDF um, you know in this video I talk about what's in the PDF and then I link to it and someone can just click on that icon so that's another download that I've added very very simple in this video I quickly wanted to talk a little bit about Thrive Themes which is the plugin that I actually use to design the Blog Artist Bootcamp homepage instead of using the landing page template that came with the Zippy Courses theme I actually decided to use what's called a Thrive Themes content editor. <clears throat> now, Thrive Themes is actually, um, they offer all kinds of different things. They have themes, plugins, and they do like opt in, um, like pop up things, like, you know, where you can do uh, lead generation, things like that. So, you know, here's Thrive Leads, that's for lead gen. They've got their themes, and then they've got the content builder, which is what I use to basically design. Um, the landing page used on the home page and the reason I like them so much is that it, they're very very affordable warning um, after me pause this <clears throat> if you go to the very bottom of this page 
Uh, you can see you can get an unlimited site license for only $87. If you're only doing one site, it's only 60 bucks. Uh, if you compare this to some of the other landing page builders out there, you're really, um, you're not going to be paying, um, you know, this cheap, you're going to be paying like monthly, you know, something like lead pages or a lot of these other popular ones. So definitely check this out. Um, if you want to have a more in-depth look at how this works, I've actually created another course over here on Udemy. It's called how to build easy drag and drop landing pages. And what I actually did with this course was I went through and I compared all the popular plugins and I then go through um, showing example pages I've built with the Thrive Content Builder and you know some just really just using templates and things like that. If you'd like, since you're a member of this course, obviously I know you're taking it for free. I'd be happy to give you a discount on this one if that's something that interests you. If not, you could always just go and pick this theme up, um, you know, pick this plugin up and you're not going to have to, you know, really spend a ton of money or, you know, may take you a little bit of a learning curve, but I do kind of compare all your options in here and then overall um, my choice is Thrive Content Builder. So in this video I wanted to talk about pricing your course and showing you some of the options of what you might be able to do here. Essentially what you could do is you can create different uh, buy buttons that will activate upon someone clicking on the link. Um, I'm going to do a new pricing option just to show you. Here it's created another one. I could call this, um, you know, let's just call this like one, one time. No, my M key doesn't work when I'm recording. That's all right. We'll just do one. So here you can flip a switch on or off. Um, you have the ability to obviously delete this and then I can look at the options for it. So let's do that. Um, you can choose between a single payment a subscription or do a monthly payment plan. So subscription obviously would be more of like a long term and then payment plan might be like something where you've got a thousand dollar course and you want people to, you know, spend a hundred dollars um, every month until they reach, you know, whatever it is, you know, it could be the thousand dollars over a period of a year or something like that, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and then here you can choose the tier. So as I mentioned earlier, they have tiers and you could set up like an advanced tier basic. So this would be a good reason to use pricing options because you could designate these tiers. You know, maybe if I had a single payment for $100 on a basic tier and then maybe I want an advanced course for $200 on an advanced tier, I can do that with this, uh, with the pricing options. So since I did one, you know, we'll just call this, um, you know, let's say $200. Um, we're going to flip it on. If I take this link, we'll go up here. And this is basically what it's going to look like when someone, um, oh, sorry, I guess it's not active. Let me go back there. Uh, I might have to save this. That's why I think I have to hit update. So we'll wait for this to update. If I go back to sell, it should be active. And I think if I refresh this, there we go. And if I hit buy now, um, this will actually take take the student or potential prospect right into PayPal or whatever payment processor you're using, and they can then buy. Uh, so what I've done is if I go to the home page, I know I showed this briefly earlier, but if you go all the way to the bottom, you know I've got a custom link here that just basically goes to that URL. Um, and this one I've set up with a $15 per month so if I do buy, um, I've got it set up through PayPal and PayPal automatically knows to communicate and you know, set up a subscription based service. So very, very easy to set up payments. I'm going to delete this so I don't forget. <laughs> and then you can also set up a free one. Um, this is really good for testing or maybe you just want some free people. Uh, you want to get some testimonials, things like that. Um, you can set that up. Actually, let me go back. I don't know why that I think if I go to edit this yeah I have, to, I have to hit option so you don't want to hit edit because that's really not what you want um, I think if you hit edit you could actually add some data as well to the page so like on this buy page you could maybe add something like down here um, you know this is what you're getting blah 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 blah. but obviously they should assume that from the uh, sales page So in this video, I wanted to talk about building out a mini course. Now, this is something Derek actually talks a lot about. <clears throat> if you go over and look at his blog or you actually follow um, anything he's done with Zippy courses, this is something he's 
really a big, big advocate of. And basically the idea would be that before you spend all this time putting together a course, you kind of validate your idea. So let's say, um, I'm gonna use an example here and that's why I brought up this page, but in my example, um, I'll just give you this as the great example since that's what I'm gonna be showing you anyways. But basically I wanted to create a course on how I started a web design and SEO agency. So before I did that, I actually made a course that specifically just focused on SEO clients, how to get them, how to get more clients, how to acquire them, um, different tools you can use. But you know, someone could obviously understand how to do all those things, but then how do they really like put all of it into action? How do they put it all together? So I made that course initially, and then I either did one of two things. I either priced it really low, or I basically gave it away for free, like say through Udemy. I pulled up this page because I've actually also got um, these particular courses on the Fedora platform, um, kind of using a, a test Fedora site that I have called Niche SEO Agency. So I've actually given away this course uh, quite a bit, and one of the things I was gonna, I planned to do with it was to sort of give this one away and then eventually use this as like an upsell to these students to get them into the bigger course I have, which kind of wraps everything together. And then I also include even more tactics on getting clients, which I don't share in this course. So I'm giving people tons and tons of value in this one. Um, I didn't put as much time into it. And then I'm then upselling this other bigger course on how to kind of put it all together, what to do with the clients once you get them, how to set up your business, how to get a website going to establish yourself, just everything all together. So this is kind of a good way to do it. Um, obviously, in a lot of cases, I think what you could probably do is, let's say I wanted to just do this SEO agency course. Maybe I could start out by showing people how to build a website, how to establish a business, but then leave out some of the um, bigger tips, like how to outsource the work and how to do things that really um, help people get, get things moving with the business. And then I, I make that my mini course, just the beginning stuff. And then I eventually go you know, into something else. I'll, I'll quickly show you too. Um, you know, here would be an example. So I talk about building a website, set, setting up a business, and then I talk about getting clients as well. And inside of this course, I do some stuff that's a little different from the other course. And then I talk about like different tools. So maybe I could do something like, you know, just up through the acquiring clients phase and then leave like all the tools and the automation and closing sales and some of the other stuff out, or maybe only do like half of what's in here and leave the rest to the premium course, see how good of a response I get, and then eventually <clears throat> try to upsell it. So that's just an idea of something you guys could do. And in the next upcoming videos, I'm gonna talk more about promotion and some more on this mini course stuff. So another thing you can do with your mini course is actually use the landing page template that comes with the Zippy Courses premium package. Um, you could set this up and actually use this as a means to generate leads for your business and then you know drive um, you know these leads into a funnel of some kind. Maybe get an autoresponder going where you're sending them email messages automated over a period of days or weeks, whatever it is. Um, if you don't wanna use this, I've actually created another course I wanted to quickly show you. It's here on Udemy called How to Build Easy Drag and Drop Landing Pages with WordPress. Uh, maybe if you decided you didn't buy the premium uh, Zippy Courses theme, you could actually go and take a look at this course. Uh, if you'd like, feel free to message me. I'd even be willing to give you a discount off this normal price of 67. But basically I go through and I actually compare a bunch of different landing page creators. So you could use this as a way to create some sort of landing page to drive in your free members. Uh, if you're looking for something you know, very straightforward and easy to use, you could look at lead pages. And there are some free plugins I talk about as well in this course. So this might be a good option for you. Uh, overall, my favorite though is Thrive Themes, which I know I talked about in one of my earlier videos. All right, so in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the idea of forming partnerships to sell your online course. Uh, this whole section, I'm really gonna kind of cover just some very basic ideas of things you could do for marketing. Um, now, what I've done is I went out and I actually created another course here on Udemy. Uh, I thought I'd reference because right now I do have it as free. Um, basically, I created an hour long course where I go through and I talk about 
different partnership examples. I even talk about the Blog Artist Bootcamp, which is obviously the case study site that I've been using uh, throughout all of um, this course. So basically I show you three different examples of partnerships that I formed and how I was able to market courses through that. Uh, I give you a couple of Udemy examples. I show you obviously the site that I'm doing now with Zippy Courses. I talk about the different tools I use and kind of the good and bad, what to look out for. So this is a really great tool if you're looking to maybe partner up with someone. Um, this could be a way that you know maybe you've gotten in the good graces of someone that can help you really promote your course. Maybe they've got an existing email list. Um, you know, there's always new opportunity. I even after creating this course, I just spoke with someone literally just yesterday. Um, they want to partner up with me on a, a ton of my Udemy courses and we're going to split profits on uh, combine our, our courses together and start working on creating new courses. And it just could be a really positive thing for all of us. So this is something I got really excited about. I love working with other people um, that can essentially help me. But I kind of cover it all in this course and that's why I want to reference this. Um, like I said, it's only an hour long and it's really going to help you kind of decide if this is something that's for you or not. Okay, so the next topic I wanted to briefly touch upon is finding affiliates to help you promote your own courses. Uh, this is something that I guess depending on what niche you're coming from, uh, depending on where you're at, I know really when you look at internet marketing as a whole, um, there's people doing all kinds of different things. I mean, you could look at, there's someone that might have a blog and they've built their own list and they're just going to promote something on their own. They're not going to rely on other people to help them promote it. But if you head over to places like the Warrior Forum or you're familiar with a lot of these big product launches, you'll see that people will actually get the support of other affiliates, meaning that people are, you know, not only you, say, mailing a list of, let's say you got a list of 3,000 people, you know, you mail your own list, and then you actually get some other guys to mail their list of thousands of people and you give them a percentage of each sale, you've now basically doubled the chances or maybe triple or quadruple the amount of sales that you're going to get and the amount of money you're going to make for not only your affiliates but for yourself. So you can really use this to your advantage. Uh, I wanted to show you a site here called MunchEye where there's a bunch of new product launches coming up and this is a way that you could maybe get an example of how you might want to create an affiliate landing page. So here you can see all the upcoming launches. Um, you know, they have like an all launches and then premium launches. So I looked at, um, this is here, a product that I've actually purchased and owned. It's a great product called e-commerce Academy. They launched a little while ago and it looks like maybe they're doing, um, like a premiere version. They're upselling something like a, must be a webinar or something. And if you click into this, you'll get a product page over on MunchEye and then they have what's called a JV page and you can see the commission rate that they'll pay out. So if I had an email list of people interested in something like this, I could choose to promote it. And of course these guys are, you know, they may reciprocate sometime, at some point in the near future. Uh, and then here they've created an affiliate page. I've already got it open and they kind of made their own sales page for this. They, you know, they'll include things like email swipe files. Um, they'll talk about the sales funnel. They'll talk about all the proof of why the product is good, you know, showing who they are, you know, what they're all about, and, you know, they give away prizes. So it's a pretty crazy thing. I mean, literally, I could, I could do a whole entire course on this in and of itself. Uh, the biggest thing that I really wanted to get out there, though, is that um, if you want to find people that are going to help you promote um, your content, you really have to uh, build relationships with these people. Um, you know, maybe find ways to provide value to them. In a lot of cases, I interviewed people. Uh, through a podcast that I did a couple years ago and that was how I met quite a few different people you know product creators and I have a lot of regular conversations with some of these people um, now because I've interviewed them and uh, we've kind of built a little rapport we have a little bit more of a friendship going on and I'm not just some strange guy reaching out asking for help so this is just something to keep in mind um, really if you want to learn about this you can go out there and learn all about um, affiliate marketing uh, it's definitely a huge thing when it comes to doing joint ventures and product launches. It's really just a whole other level. Um, one course I would suggest is, in fact, I'm actually just going to throw his name out there instead of specific courses, but there's a fellow by the name of Kenster um, that actually is pretty popular over on the Warrior Forum, and he has some really, really great courses that kind of cover some of this more in depth. So that's something you may want to look into. Um, like I said, MunchEye, really great place to go and look and kind of get some examples of how this works.
So in this video, I did want to briefly talk about forum marketing. Uh, if you're at all familiar with internet marketing, you've probably been over at the Warrior Forum. But if you're building out a membership site, depending on kind of where you clarify what it is that you're doing, um, you may want to potentially look at the Warrior Special Offers. I know particularly just speaking about this with Derek, um, this isn't a place that he would ever go to promote one of his own membership sites. Um, you know, really it's something that he would promote to his own audience and he would do webinars with. Uh, I'm going to talk about webinars in the next video. But if you're looking, you know, maybe you've got something that's just very basic. You haven't, you know, it's something you feel isn't worth like $500. Maybe you're selling a membership site that is just going to be very simple. Um, you know, you're covering something really basic. Maybe you have a product to go along with it, whatever it is. Um, you're setting up a very simple membership site. Or even if you're looking to do that in the future, the Warrior Forum might be a good place for you to check out. Um, if you head over to Warrior Special Offers here, you basically got all these people um, creating these threads on a daily basis. Essentially, you, you spend $20 and you get a thread that will eventually drop off of the first page. But as you can see, there's some people that will consistently bump um, these posts. You can see like, you know, this one here has 600 replies and over 122,000 views. So there's really, um, you know, a lot of different things going on here. Here you can even see someone's actually selling Udemy courses. So this is kind of interesting. You know, some of these though, you'll see just kind of the quality of uh, what's going on here. It's not like, you know, the biggest, um, you know, $7 for this, uh, how to get Udemy courses, whatever it is. And in general, that's sort of a lot of what you're going to see over here. You know, let's take a look at this one, you know, just kind of a sales page. This guy wrote up buy now. This guy's selling one on one coaching for $500. Let's see Periscope. This guy's giving it away for a, a, a buck. <clears throat> so yeah, we got all kinds of stuff going on here. But as you can see, you know, there's not um, a ton of people going off and trying to sell like $500 uh, membership sites. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so in terms of webinars, this is something that literally you could create an entire course on in and of itself. Um, there's lots of resources out there for webinars, but one of my favorite people to follow and that I've done some training with on webinars is Lewis Howes. Um, instead of just pulling up his blog, he's got lots of different articles, and I know in the past he created a course called The Seven Figure Webinars. But um, I found a Kindle book that he created. I believe it's a little older. Um, I don't know when it actually came out. I don't know if I can find. Yeah, 2012. So it's a few years old. But um, you know, Lewis has done really, really well with webinars. So this is something you could pick up, you know, in Kindle. Um, check this book out. That might be worth looking at. You know, go over to his blog. Um, the biggest thing with webinars, though, is if you don't have an existing audience, this is probably going to be a little bit tough for you to really pull together a huge webinar to go selling something. Uh, I know Derek, for example, uh, who's actually created Zippy courses, he's got such a large audience that he's already built through his list building efforts. You know, he doesn't need to go to the Warrior Forum or he doesn't, you know, need to really put his courses on a place like Udemy to make sales. He can simply just send an email to his huge list of 100,000 people and, you know, get them onto a webinar and then upsell uh, one of his courses through that webinar. So I would take a look at Lewis's book, you know, maybe do some studying from Lewis. You could even read about it from Derek because Derek's really good at it. Uh, another thing you could look at though, which I've recently discovered is if you want to take a look at this site, it's called the Moby Marketplace. Um, this site basically has products that they'll bring you in essentially, have you run a webinar and you could eventually make sales and they'll take a, a cut of those commissions. So if you don't have a huge audience to promote a product to, uh, you could use this tool as maybe a way to do that. Um, I know that they do have an application process, so I can't guarantee that you know, if you go and look at the instructor area and you apply that they're going to accept you, um, you know, you, they, you do see here they've got lots of testimonials and they talk about how they compare to Udemy and ClickBank. But um, this is something to take a look at as well. Uh, another company that I just recently started speaking with is called ThinkWebinar. And they kind of have the same idea. Um, you know, if you're an expert, someone that they consider an expert, um, you've got some really, really good content you've put together. Uh, you might be able to come on board with them and create uh, a product. Maybe um, you have an idea and you haven't started out with your Zippy Courses program. This might be a way to kind of integrate it into ThinkWebinar. Um, I have not used either Mode Marketplace or the ThinkWebinar 
platform, so I don't know how well you'd be able to integrate SIPI courses, but I just wanted to throw these out there because they're both like webinar driven platforms and they kind of help you with the marketing. So if that's something um, you're interested in, I would definitely check them out. Hey everyone, thanks for taking the time to go through this course. I hope you've learned a lot about the Zippy Courses plugin. Uh, I really did want to create this course as a way to kind of give you some way, you know, ideas of what you could go out there and do with the Zippy Courses plugin. Obviously, there's a little bit of tweaks here and there I had to make with like creating my landing page, uh, doing a couple things with the video and the content. But um, really, overall, you know, if you've decided that you want to go out there and create a course and it's something you want to do outside of a place like Udemy or some of these other marketplaces, I'd say Zippy Course is one of the best options you could possibly do. And it's going to be the most affordable long term beyond just getting the domain and hosting up and running. If you really want to get something set up in your own uh, website, this is really, really a great way to go go about doing it. I wish you all the best of luck with your courses. And if you'd like to send me an example of a course you're creating or if you have any questions, feel free to start a discussion. I'd be happy to help however I can.